Thanks for staying with us. Now, today is supposed to be an international day for, uh, what's it called? <laughs> yeah, we if, they can, if they can scroll by. <laughs> you know, but let me first of all introduce you. Love is in the studio. Uh, oh, I hope you don't get to fire me. No, I can't fire you. Honestly, see, let me tell you something. Lagos has been something else, you know. Um, the traffic and also... Third Milan Bridge closure is not helping matter. And I heard it's been extended okay, so till you. February. Yeah, let me, and I'm almost crying. Ah, God help us. You know, yeah. let me tell you what happened with me. So my boys came back home on the 19th. So I picked them up. Normally we pick them up in Nikeja Jerry. Oh. Yeah, that's where they... There's a bus, that, yes, there's oh, a bus service. Really? So if you don't want to go get them. So I picked them up. Thank God, the Spirit of God laid it in my heart to take them to go and eat. Because that was the only meal they had. Because they, are not, they don't eat before leaving the school. They only give them like small chops or something. Uh -uh, for that trip now. Wait now. That was the only meal they had had because by the time we left, we didn't get home till 11.30 in the night. Since when? What time? From oh. 6, um, 6 30. From Ikeja? From Ikeja. Eco Bridge. Ah, I don't even know the bridge. <laughs> if I, at some point, I just switched <laughs> on the Google Map. <laughs> I just switched up the Google oh Map because my. I was really that was on tired. on Saturday or Sunday? Yeah, it was on, on was even Saturday. Bad yeah. On Sunday. Yeah. It was bad on yeah. Sunday. So. All right, so let's move on. So yeah. um, I said today is every one of us have heard the phrase that you should look on the bright side. So today is okay. look on the bright side day. So that's why I'm not, I'm not angry. When you say I should be angry, I'm not yeah. angry. <laughs> so it's look on the bright side day. And... Um, at some point in our lives, we always hear this from friends and family telling us to always look on the bright side. So how we celebrate this day is just go out, take a walk and just, you know, smile be thankful. and just be thankful for life. I mean, more than ever before this year, COVID, so many things have happened. So I just think everybody should just take a, you know, breather Never. and just go out and just look on the bright side. And hope for 2020. And hope for 2021. I think there was a lady on Instagram that <laughs> I saw said, the video coming in 2021. <laughs> no, this was a bego. Make me no hype 2020. Please, just leave 2021, please. Because of the hype people get 2020. See where we are today. Please, just leave 2021. Let's just sit down the look. <laughs> All right, Lami, what so did you find for us in the news? Okay, it's about the Nigerian Judicial Council. Mm. Um, talking about... Um, recommended for suspension and ultimately retirement of two judicial officers mm -hmm. who allegedly, not even allegedly, they've been confirmed mm -hmm. to have falsified yeah, their yeah. ages. And um, they've been recommended for suspension and part of the um, punishment, the punishment actually is to recommend them for immediate retirement. Wow. Then all the benefits that they had obtained prior to when, when they were supposed to to have retired, should be returned to the council. Wow. So, so they reduced their ages? Of, they reduced it, yes. So they could have more time in service. Mm. I think they falsified it by two but years But who doesn't age. do that in this country, Biko? No, but who are the point now is, I am angry. You know why I'm angry? These are judges who have sat down and have sent people to jail mm. for allegedly falsify, falsification, taking oaths, lying under oh, oaths. Yeah. Now, the issue why I'm even angry is, so the only punishment. punishment is to recommend them for retirement and they should uh, uh, Nigerian judiciary system. <laughs> I know was, I, even when I was reading it, I was actually anticipating that they would send them to jail or do something very concrete. Well, let me, uh, let me tell That's you something. sad. Is it not the people, you think that the people that are recommending them for retirement, you think yeah. they too, they don't have their own finances <laughs> somewhere? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. A lot yeah, of people have not been caught. Yes. No, no, but people no, do who are, listen, as a judicial officer, mm -hmm. you are next to God. Who do you want no, to come in? You are, that is a, somebody that would sit I down and sit. I don't know what you're saying. You really don't know what you're saying. <laughs> do you live in a different Nigeria from me? No, no, no. Doesn't, no, when you're a judicial officer, it has to be different. <laughs> People's I mean, destiny is destiny. Oh, I'm is the ask truth. That again. There's a code of conduct for judicial officers. Huh. Lami. Hey. You're supposed to have the Lami. highest. Okay. Love me. Yes, ma. Love me. Love me. <laughs> I'm yes, sorry. Ma. I've asked this question a third time. Do you live in a different Nigeria from me? Do the what? No, but we shouldn't accept mm. this. We're not. As, nobody's accepting it. We're um, not accepting no, but, it. What, what I'm saying is, is this the is consequence Nigeria. should have been more stringent. What? 
what Uwa has said is true. The people themselves that are recommending them, go and dig. Go and dig, oh. <laughs> Everybody going to end up in jail from the judiciary <laughs> to, the doctors, to the people in banks. I, oh I, 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 I run contact centers. Do you know how many times you ask people their date of birth and they're like, oh, what did I write? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let me move on. Let's move you on. You have three, four different dates of, pre, before BVN. Do you know how many different dates of birth people had? Mm -hmm. Ah. I mean, people have different about. passports. Yes. Different, different ages. They don't even know which one they signed where. So that's what I'm saying. That well, somebody came to me and said, Lamide, please I help me to um, write to the um, U.S. Embassy that they've been denying her visas and she wants to know why. So I said, truthfully, tell me, why would they have denied it over five times? Mm -hmm. And this is somebody that is senior in the government. So she wanted me to intervene. You know, I do things like that. And I said, before I would do that, what did you do? She now said, eh, when she was in uni, she falsified her age. Uh -huh. ah. <laughs> I said, Uti, let's take your story. <laughs> okay, so, um, so my headline says um, COVID-19. Uh, NIMSI, that's the National Identity Management um, Commission, shuts down as crowds besiege Lagos offices for NIN registration. So, of course, you know, we're in the midst of a of another panic registration mm -hmm. for a national identity number. Um, it's not a new, uh, what is it called now? It's not a new form of identification. Mm -hmm. But I find that, of <coughs> course, I don't know if you've seen the picture and if maybe they can put all the pictures up yet, yeah, of how crowds have now been asked to, or crowds of people trying to get their national identity numbers, trying to register for this number also that they can keep their phone lines active given the deadline that the ncc has given of two weeks between the 16th of december and the 30th of december mm -hmm. please i would just like to ask the ncc a few years ago you made every single person that has a phone line mm -hmm. go to their telco and put their fingers <laughs> on a card on a reader and took their biometric data and registered their mm -hmm. sim now you're coming at us again with national identity number. It's there so was sorry. BVN with the banks, <laughs> like Nigeria, really? really? With all this data, you still can't tell us whether we're 200 million people or 2 billion people in Nigeria. <laughs> it's a bit ridiculous. It's we so have technology. We have data that we are not using. <laughs> nope. If this, was the, if this was the olden days, you would have all this data on paper and the lady selling Google and Ekpa would be using it to wrap it. Nigeria needs to stop this. <laughs> it's the most frustrating thing ever. Yeah. I'll, what are I'll, you using this data for? What I, have you done with BVN? I tell you. If you want to stop fraud, start with BVN. We will even trust you. Uh, uh, Uti, 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 calm down, Uti. Uti, calm down, calm down. down. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> interestingly, <laughs> my story is quite tight. Even passport, yeah. even your international passport, mm. if you want to get one now, you have to have yeah. an identity. And I wonder that when we, even your passport captures everything. Well, okay. So why can't they just, just come together? Well, I listened to that the, I got, I listened the, to I got the my league. NIN number back in 2000. 2016. Mm. I still today, till today, don't have a card. Same for me. Same for me. Same for me. My as well. data is probably floating around out there. Somewhere I listened. I listened on radio. They brought the. I think the. She's the secretary or something to the NIMC. In, um, so she was talking about it. She said the reason they can't really take um, data from they can't some share other data. You no, know, from other organizations. Yeah collect those data is because also that there is a structure that the data has to be. So sometimes there's no, it's only maybe a, they can collect from FRSC. She mentioned that, I think the international Why passport. Why can't they? Just a few. Well, I just wanted to but note, who are, why because we they? ran out of time. Um, Twitter went agog on this NIMC matter in Alausa, the crowding and everything. I just want to bring out they two, ran for their two lives. tweets that I saw that made me, uh, made me chuckle. Um, someone says, I think it was Wale Adetona, he says, uh, seal up a, a club, but allow thousands of people gather in, at NIMC um, office just because they want to collect NIN number. We know they even think straight for this country. That's what he says. Then another person said, um, another person said something about the timing. He said, NIN registration has been on for several years. And in typical Nigerian fashion, people <coughs> choose to unlock, uh, sorry, unlook. 
And I did mine five years ago, walking into a virtually empty NIMC, uh, NIMC center that barely registered 10 persons per day. Today, we, we blame government but ignore the people who fail to register. I don't think people fail to register. I think a lot of people registered, but their data, like um, Uti is saying, and you also, our data is floating. Because I remember I, I registered. Register, yeah. It's a bit of a pointless thing. The, the reason why people don't register is because, for starters, we don't know what the government is doing with it. We don't see what value it has. Yeah. If you, know you what? want me to do something, you have to give me value. I think I we're going to make... License, I have a passport. Yeah. I have a voter's card. Guess what? The Nigerian government still can't identify me until I go to <laughs> Nimsi. Really? <laughs> Uti, calm down. Please, this is not our topic today. We are discussing multiple streams of income. What to make money? Maybe when we start to make money, the Nigerian government will, will, will identify us. <laughs> we'll take a break. When we return, we'll be talking about multiple streams of income. Stay with us. We'll be right back.